Mega is going to be a fairly short tutorial because there's not a lot to cover. It's basically swatches, which are these things down here which help you select your colour. So you click on that and choose that colour, or that, choose that colour. You click any of the colours, you can choose the line colour if you want, or the eye colour. Anything you want, you click in this box and you'll select that colour. <coughs> the more useful one is NTSC. <coughs> It's like a colour palette, so you can actually choose all your colours without having to go here and personally select them. <coughs> or you can at least um, get halfway there, like onto the blues, and then just fine tune it. So NTSC is more useful. Uh, this sky, but really you're going to be using more colours for that, for the sky. If you want to import your own though, it's only temporary, but say you want to work with greens, so here you can choose the right green. If you're making grass, for example, you might want different shades of green that you can quick and easily uh, get to. Uh, so that's basically all I can say about swatches, but uh, I decided that I'll make it a bit longer and show you something else. If you uh, go to your Anime Studio folder, so there it is, and you go into brushes, you see you've got all these brushes here. So I'm going to copy one and paste it. Uh, where's paste? No, I didn't copy it in the first place. Copy, paste. <coughs> and I'm going to rename it uh, Brush 22. I see there's numbers after this. Uh, these are important uh, if you're for the default settings. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Okay, now I'm going to edit with that with GIMP. You see, I've been using GIMP a lot in the past few tutorials, it's very useful. Okay, so there we have our snowflake shape. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it, and make a new layer, white, and just write Joe there. File, save. Okay, so I've saved that. Now, let's go to Studio quick. Oh, I don't know, you might be able to, nope, you have to close it. So I'm going to close it in Studio. Then open it back up. Uh, start a new document. Make a line. And then colour it in. Then make it thicker. Oh, yes, I've got display quality too low. Alright, and then I'll just go to brush. And there we have my brush there. Uh, it's not working very well though because it's all scrambled. So we want to align brush with curve. We want the brush spacing to be 100%. And the brush jitter angle to be 0. Actually 90 would be better. Or, well let's just leave it at 0. So there we have my very own outline which just says my name. So, you can make your own brushes then, uh, to get something more specific. Uh, but going back to these numbers, if we open up the brush, you see you've got this tick box here, a value here, and a value there. Well, the first number there, a zero, that is tick box, zero off, one on. So we'll turn it on, because we want the tick box. The next box, 360, is the jitter angle, we want zero. And the last one's the brush spacing, so we want that 100. So now the default settings for that brush, number 22, will be 1, 0, 100. So there we go, we have your very own brush. Okay, so that covers brushes and swatches. Thank you for watching.